Glad to see the boy stopped trying to butt in. Where is he, anyway? I don't know. Not in the house. Watching the news? Ha! I'd like to know what he's really up to. As if a normal boy cares what's on the news. Dudley hasn't got a clue what's going on. I doubt he knows who the Prime Minister is. Anyway, it's not as if there'd be anything about his lot on our news. Vernon, shh! The window is open. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, dear. Put it away! Now! Before anyone sees! What the devil do you think you're doing? What did I do? Making a racket like a starting pistol. Right outside our... I didn't make that noise. Why were you lurking under our window? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, good point, Petunia. Uh, what were you doing under our window, boy? Listening to the news. <laughs> Listening to the news? Again? Well, it changes every day, you see. Don't you be clever with me, boy. You know perfectly well that your lot don't get on our news. That's all you know. You're a nasty little liar. We're not stupid, you know. Well, that's news to me. Hey, Big D. Beat up another ten-year-old? This one deserved it. Oh, did he now? He was asking for it. He cheeked me. Yeah? Did he say you look like a pig that's been taught to walk on his hind legs? Because that's not cheek, dud. That's simply true. Five against one. Wow. Very brave. Well, you're one to talk. Moaning in your sleep every night. Don't kill Cedric! Who's Cedric? Your boyfriend. Shut up. He's going to kill me, Mum! Where is your mum? Is she dead? Is she dead? Is she dead, Potter? Is he coming? Come on out here, Dudley. Dudley, we gotta get out of here, Dudley. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Dudley, come on! Dudley, stop! What's happening? I I can't see anything. I've gone blind. Shut up, Stop doing it, I swear I'll Dudley. hit you. Ah! Oh, Dudley, you moron! You're riding right at it! Dudley, stop! Dudley! Oh. <laughs> Expect a patronum! I'm gonna kill Monkdust Fletcher. What? He left. We've gotta get you back. Oh, the trouble this is going to cause. You're a witch. I'm a squib. Oh, what's Dumbledore gonna say? You know Dumbledore. Of course I do. You! Get your fat bottom out of the ground! Oh, this is exactly what Dumbledore was afraid of. Monkdust Fletcher, I'm gonna kill you! Hello, Figgy. What happened to staying undercover? I'll give you undercover. Dementors! You lousy, striking piece of fuck! Dementors? Here? Yes, here, you worthless pile of backdrop insults! Ah. And you are selling <laughs> stolen cards! Get off! Get off, you mad old bat! Someone's got to tell Dumbledore! Yes! They have! Oh. And it better oh. than you! So you can <sighs> tell him why you weren't here! I'm going! I'm going! I hope Dumbledore murders him. Come on, quickly. Oh my word, what a catastrophe. Well, that's no good crying over spilled potion, I guess, but the cat's among the pixies now. So Dumbledore's been having me followed? Of course. Don't you think they'd let you wander on your own after what happened to that diggery boy last year? Good God, they told me you were intelligent. Now get inside and stay there. It is hot, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, hot everywhere. 
There is sweat and there is stifling. And it's going to get even worse. Temperatures in the mid-30s Celsius. That's uh, the mid-90s Fahrenheit to our American cousins. Tomorrow, maybe even hitting 100. So please remember to cover up and stay cool, drink lots of water, and stay inside as Diddy much Kins, as possible. is that you? <laughs> Daddy! Vernon! Come quick! What is it, son? Did Mrs. Polkins give you something foreign for tea? We're going to have to take him to the hospital. Why are you all covered in dirt, darling? Have you been lying on the ground? Hang on. You haven't been robbed, have you? Oh my god. Vernon, phone the police. Phone the police! <gasps> She's trying to say something. What is it, Diddy? Tell Mummy. Him. Boy! Come here! What have you done to my son? What did he do to you, Diddy? Was it, you know what? Did he use his... thing? Aha! I knew it! Happy are we now? You've finally done it! You've finally driven him loopy! Vernon, don't say that! Just look at him, Petunia. Our boy has gone yumpy! I've reached my limit. You hear? This is the last I'm going to take of you and your nonsense. Owls! Dear Mr. Potter, the Ministry has received intelligence that at 6.23 this evening, you performed a Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. As a clear violation of the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery, you are hereby expelled from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hoping you are well, Mafalda Hopkirk. What the devil is this supposed to mean? I have just been kicked out of school by the Ministry of Magic. Ministry of Magic? People like you in government? Oh, this explains everything. Everything! No wonder this country's going to the dogs. Why have you been expelled? Because I did magic. Aha! So you admit it. What did you do to my son? It wasn't me. It was a couple of dementors. A couple of... What's this codswallop? Dementors. Two of them. And what the ruddy hell are dementors? They guard the wizard prison. Azkaban. <gasps> How do you know that? I heard that. Awful boy, telling her about them years ago. If you mean my mum and dad, why don't you just use their names? So they, uh, th they actually exist, do they? Uh, Dementi, what's it? Yes. But what are Dementoids? What do they do? They suck all the happiness out of you. And if they get the chance, they kiss you. Kiss you? Kiss you? That's what they call it when they suck the soul out of your mouth. His soul? They didn't take... He still got his... Of course I didn't take his soul. You'd know if they had. Fought them off, did you, son? Gave them the old one-two, did you? You can't give a Dementor the old one-two. I want the truth about what happened tonight. If it was Dementors that hurt Dudley, how come you've been expelled? You did you know what. Admit it. I did the Patronus charm to get rid of the Dementors. It's the only thing that works against them. But what were Dementoids doing in Little Whinging? Couldn't tell you. No idea. It's you. It's got something to do with you. I know it. Why else would they turn up here? Why else would they be down that alleyway? You've got to be the only... The only... The only you-know-what for miles. The Dememba's guard some weirdo prison, don't they? Yes. Oh, so they were coming to arrest you. That's it, isn't it, boy? You're on the run from the law. Of course not. Then why? He must have sent them. What's that? Who must have sent them? Lord Voldemort. Lord? Hang on. I've heard that name. That was the one who... Murder my parents, yes. But he's gone. That giant bloke said so. He's back. He came back a month ago. I saw him. Ha hang on, hang on. This Lord Voldy thing is back, you say? Yes. The one who murdered your parents? Yes. And now it's sending dismembers after you? Looks like it. I see. Well, that settles it then. You can get out of this house, boy. What? You heard me. Out! I should have done this years ago. 
I was treating this place like a rest home. Pudding exploding, half the lounge being destroyed, Dudley's tail, Marge bobbing around the ceiling, and the flying Ford Anglia! Out! Out! <laughs> Out! Ah! Oh, you've had it. Your history. You're not staying here if some loony's after you. You're not endangering my wife and son, and you're not bringing your trouble down on us. If you're going the same way as your useless parents, I've had it. Out! You were all keen to leave half an hour ago. I'm right behind you now. Get out and never darken our doorstep again. Why we never kept you in the first place, I'll never know. Marge was right. It should have been the orphanage. We were too damn soft for our own good. Thought we could squash it out of you. Thought we could turn you normal. But you've been rotten from the beginning, and I've had enough. <laughs> Owls! Oh, don't touch it, Petunia. It might be dangerous. It is addressed to me. It is addressed to me, Vernon. Look! Mrs. Petunia Dursley, the kitchen, number four, Privet Drive. <laughs> Open it. It's a howler. I hear what it says anyway. Let go of it, Petunia. Open it. Get it over with. Oh, it's going to burst into flames. Open the letter. <laughs> Remember my last Petunia. What is this? What? I don't... Petunia? Petunia, dear. Petunia! The boy... The boy will have to stay, Vernon. What? He stays. If we throw him out, the neighbours will talk. He... But... Petunia! They'll ask awkward questions. They want to know where he's gone. We'll have to keep him. You're to stay in your room. You're not to leave the house. Now go to bed. Who was the howler from? Don't ask questions. Are you in touch with wizards? I told you to go to bed. What did it mean? Go to bed. Remember the last what? You heard your aunt. Go up to bed. <sighs> Sorry, Hedwig. your wand, boy, before you take someone's eye out. Professor Moody? What are you doing here? Rescuing you, of course. It's all right, Harry. We've come to take you away. Professor Lupin? He looks exactly like I thought he would. Ah, I see what you mean, Remus. He looks exactly like James. Except the eyes. He's got Lily's eyes. Are you quite sure, Tim Remus? It would be a nice lookout if we bring back a Death Eater impersonating him. Don't worry, it's him, Mad Eye. But where are we going? The letter said I've been expelled from Hogwarts. Well, you haven't been. Not yet. Kingsley, you take point. Right. But the letter said. Dumbledore has persuaded the minister to suspend your expulsion pending on a formal hearing. A hearing? Uh huh. Don't worry, Harry. We'll explain everything when we get back to headquarters. Shh! Not here, Nymphadora! Don't call me Nymphadora. Stay in formation, everyone. Don't break ranks if one of us is killed. A horrible crime has been committed at Glandier Manor, near Montlhery, a small French town. <laughs> <laughs>